Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I'm going to be doing an abstract painting of a flower based on the style of Cy Twombly. Now, if you don't know who Cy Twombly is, he was an early abstract painter. Um, he has like a lot of like doodle type abstract art. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, and I don't really like a lot of his work because it's just like, it looks like giant loops or cursive or something on, on canvas or chalkboard or whatever it is. But he did have a cool, uh, some interesting looking abstract flowers that I do like. And so I'm going to try to do one of those today. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, someone had asked me to do like a Cy Twombly type painting. So that's the type of painting we're going to be doing. So first we're going to go ahead and paint the background a solid color. So we're going to do this, uh, this darker blue here. And I'm using gloss enamel paint just as a heads up. Sorry for that noise. All right, so now we've got a solid background to work with. And so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to dry this background so that when we paint our flower on it, it will be solid. Okay, so now that we've got that dried, now what we want to do is get our painting uh, horizontal because the painting that we're going to do is going to be a kind of a drip painting, so to speak. And let's see if I can get some better light. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get, uh, get some better light on this. Let me see if I can turn it. All right. Well, it's going to be a little hard to see. I apologize. All right. So what we're going to do is... So the way he did these paintings was he had like almost like a, a painted background outline of the flower and then he had like these loops and swirls over it, but they were all dripping. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got some thin down purple. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna dry that real fast so that it doesn't bleed with the secondary color. Okay, so now that we've got the kind of outline of it, we're going to do like the actual flower. It's, and it basically the flower is very simple. It's just uh, some swirls over it that are also dripping. And that's really it. That is, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the whole painting. So it's basically, you know, this kind of dripping, uh, really abstract type flower. And I think that you can see that the purple's running through it. So the purple, I guess, had not dried all the way. So normally if you were doing one of these paintings, you, you'd let each layer dry. Um, so that they don't run together. Unless you want the, the look of the, the paint kind of running together. Um, I think it looks okay. It's kind of cool. Um, I do I do like it just because it's super simple. But that's it. So it's just, you know, a background and then uh, a solid color kind of outline or like background of the flower. And then the swirls to kind of make the design itself. And that's it. That is, uh, that's how, you know, these flowers looked, at least to me. I, I haven't seen someone make them. But it's a very simple thing to do. And it, in its own way, it's not a very, you know, uh, intense abstract painting, but in its own way, it's it's kind of cool. Sorry, it's, um, I'm just trying to get this 
it's sitting in its own paint. So I'm gonna have to get it out of there. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. So if you liked it, I apologize that the the light is not so great. Let's see if I can lighten it up so you can see kind of the last shot of it. I don't know. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, rate, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in another one. Take care, guys. Bye.